Okay, so TJ's been feeling pretty good with most of the exercises that we've had him doing from a supine position. So we're gonna get him now into a prone position. Uh, he's pretty good here with his lower spine. There's not excessive extension. So we've looped a yoga strap here. Gonna put the looped end around the right foot. Kind of come up, give me a strap from this position here. And you're just gonna go into passive knee flexion having him kind of pull into whatever degree range of motion he can, he can get to. And then from there, you just make the strap snug enough to hold that. Again, we're looking for a three to five second hold, slow control down on the eccentric. I want to think about squeezing that glute, squeezing that hip to get that heel to come up and crank on that strap. I shouldn't say crank on it, put some resistance on it to make it snug enough to hold that range and then eccentric control out. Same thing, we do about three or four of these. One more. That's about 31 degrees. So a little difference from supine or prone position. So we'll keep working on this and see if we can get some improvements made with that. Rest. Good. Tough, huh? Okay, so here we're working into hip extension. Same thing, making sure he's staying neutral in the lumbar here. Fire that stomach and then glute meat is gonna contract and really just bring that leg back. And then we're just trying to stay in a dorsiflex position and control the way back in against the eccentric resistance of the band. Same thing, about eight to 10 of those. And you'll work all three of those in the same sequence. Good. All right, so we're moving into our standing work now. So we've got an elastic band here, fairly thin, light to medium resistance. That's gonna go around the right ankle. TJ's facing forward so he's taking that leg into abduction got a little pull there for support but he's basically just putting some pressure to the outside of the left foot firing the arch on that side maintaining a nice even straight spinal position shoulders back stomachs tight we're gonna ask him to do about eight to ten of these just staying very rigid through his core and having that eccentric control through the hip once the legs coming back to midline Good, and you'll step over that strap. Next, we're gonna kind of face him forward here, and we're just gonna take that hip into flexion. So maintaining that same tall, upright spinal position. That's it. Get that arch going on the left leg. We're just taking that hip forward. And same thing, we can hold for one count at the top and some slow control on the way down, working against the eccentric resistance of the band in that same eight to 10 range. Go get three more. Good. Nice job. Tough, tougher that way, right? Yeah. yeah. 